We was just the first to present it to the world. We was the first to put it on record. But the rappers before us, Grandmaster Flash, Furries Bob, Africa Bambada, Zulu Nation, Four Crush Four, Funky Four Plus One, Treacherous Three, uh, Jazzy Five MCs, Fantastic Five MCs, all the rappers, DJs and MCs before Run MC, before rap records was made, used to rap over Rocky when we did the block parties and we did the jams in the streets. We was just the first to do it on the record. Okay. And we always told the truth about what was good and what sucked. So much music sucks right now. And everybody's afraid to say, yo, that's not good at all. So there's nobody looking to bring something unique and different into the game. I hate saying the rap game. I hate that. It's not a game. You know, but a game is we play. But people are afraid to tell the truth and people are afraid to accept, um, accept, accept, accept to receive something different. Like Run DMC, LL, Grandmaster Flash and the first five, Africa Bambada, Curtis Blow. When the PCs came up home, we didn't say, don't let them white boys in. They corporate, they different from us. We said, yo, we like that. What do y'all do? And we was able, what do you want? Wow, that's... And we appreciated them for what they did. Nowadays, nobody wants the good, real, creative, fresh style that's flavor that will change the world to be part of their business. Rappers nowadays go, we talk about what happened in the streets. No. But yeah, all y'all talk about is partying and glamour. And, and glamour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, our thing is, you know, everybody isn't in the game. Everybody doesn't sell drugs. After life, some people don't even get high. Everybody don't go to strip clubs. And everybody don't fly on jets. Everybody Now, for the people that do, you can relate to that. But hip hop was always about the total presentation and something that the power in, in so-called gangster rap mm -hmm. wasn't in fact that you bragging that you're a gangster. Gangster rap meant I'm gonna tell my gangster story and then as a hip hop person, I'm gonna say, but you people don't gotta do that. That was the whole power. That was the power. Not I'm a killer and I'm a murderer, celebrate. <laughs> When they told me I was playing with Molotov, I went on YouTube to see I was like, oh, they're really good. Then I watched the video for Give Me The Power, and then I went back to watch because I didn't know what they were saying. But when I first went on for the video, the beat dropped. Sale después paralelamente la convocatoria para que nos ayuden como con ideas originales bajo un hashtag en diferentes redes. Y entonces el chiste era tomar de esas ideas para crear este, esta re reversión de la canción. Eh, hubo un par de ganadores de, de diferentes países y el chiste de ganar que venían al evento de mañana, que tocamos con DMC, no el toca su set, luego nosotros es el crossfit. Él lo escuchó hace un ratito también apenas. 
Sí. Y ustedes lo trajeron todo, o sea, ¿quién no, ¿quién no trabajar? Los cuatro, los cuatro ¿no? ya, pues, y tú. Nos echaron cámara desde la mañana de acá y pusieron a chingarle el interlocutor de la lente. Sí. Candy camera. De la nada. Nos tenemos ahí con una mini estructura y las capelas y a trabajar a partir de eso. Está chingo porque si sí, pase lo que pase, te vas haciendo un arrujo a huevo, te tienes que impregnar de gente nueva. Yo creo que el estudio, el estudio de grabación, sí nos ha permitido, como de alguna forma, estar vigentes en lo que pasa. ¿no? Vienen bandas nuevas y a veces aprendes mucho más de esos chavitos. Y está claro, y está, hace 10 años estaba igual, ¿no? con esa necesidad de hacer todo un sobre Hace más, hace más, hace más, igual soportando un rato. <risa> Ya ves que ya está chido, aprendes igual de cosas importantes de las dos generaciones, cabrón.